Hi guys, this is Angela with Panda Kisses and today we are gonna be making the Parker on the Porch Cord Keepers, these cute little Mickey Pants ones. So we are gonna go ahead and make this. Our first step is to stitch the placement stitch onto our tearaway. This is just tearaway stabilizer. And I have my four by four hoop because that's what it fits in. And I went ahead and loaded red because the first stitch that's gonna matter is the red right here. So I put red in. So I'm gonna go ahead and stitch step one, which again is the placement stitch. And I'll come back and show you what that looks like. Okay guys, there's your placement stitches. You need to get fabric that's big enough to cover those. Um, I'm making two, this is two cord keepers, but um, you need enough fabric to go over that. I'm gonna go ahead and use um, vinyl. I have two pieces here and they look identical, but they're not, they're um, different. This top one is a marine vinyl, it is thicker. They're both glitter vinyl, but you can see how thick this one is. This bottom one is a canvas glitter. So this one's way thinner. If you can see the difference right here, I wanna put them up so you can see them both okay so this one they're both pliable um, but the marine vinyl is thicker and this is what the back of the marine vinyl looks like so if you're making bags with this it's a little harder to do um, and harder to turn and get your corners out but I make it it still ends up being really cute and this is the thinner canvas vinyl. I just wanted to show you the difference between the two. In this project, the only thing that makes a difference between using one or the other is if you use the thicker one, it's going to be um, heavier here. It's going to be a thicker um, cord keeper, but it's going to make a difference when you use your snaps. You're going to have to use can snaps on this project. You're probably going to want the long pronged cam snaps and I'll show you what those are later. So if you're using this thicker vinyl, you probably want to make sure you have the long ones. If you're using this thinner one, then the regular um, cam snap short ones will work. So I'm going to use the canvas just because, um, but I just want to show you the difference of those materials. So I'm going to go ahead and place my material over my placement stitches and I'm going to go ahead and stitch step two, which is going to go ahead and stitch the red pant part of this cord keeper. So I will come back and show you what that looks okay, like. Okay guys, this is what it looks like. It went ahead and stitched out both of them. Now we're gonna go ahead and stitch the next step, which is step three, and it's just the little buttons on the pants. So I went ahead and changed my thread to yellow. You could do white or whatever you wanna do. But I'm gonna do yellow, and I'm gonna go ahead and stitch that, and I'll come back and show you. Okay guys, that's what the little buttons look like. Now we're gonna do one more stitch before we put our back on. I went ahead and changed to white because I want the outside of my cord, outline, cord keeper outline white. So I changed it to white, you could keep it yellow if you want. It's gonna go ahead and stitch the little round part right here and right here and above them. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and stitch that. We wanna stitch that now and I'll come back and show you what that looks hey like. guys, here's the front. It went ahead and stitched those two things. So I'm gonna flip this over. Here's the back of your hoop. And I'm gonna go ahead and cover this with another fabric. I'm gonna use felt. You can use um, the same vinyl if you want. You can use any fabric you want. I'm gonna use felt just because these are gonna be holding like um, wires and I just think felt will grip it a little better so it's not all slippery. But you can do whatever you want. Felt's not gonna last as long if you did um, vinyl back here because felt kind of wears. But um, for what I'm using it for, it's perfectly fine. So I like to put felt on the back of this. Okay, I'm just gonna, this is just regular scotch tape. It's nothing special. A lot of people use like the, I'm sorry. A lot of people use um, the blue tape for painter's tape and other tape. I just use masking tape, it works fine. It just needs to hold it on the bottom of your hoop. So we got that there. I'm gonna go back to my machine and put it back on my machine. Okay, now we are going to go ahead and stitch the very last step, which is step five, and it's just going to do the whole outline, and I'm going to keep that white, so I'm going to go ahead and stitch that, and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, guys, we are done stitching. This is what your front looks like. This is what the back of your hoop looks like, so I'm going to go ahead and take it off my hoop because we are done. I'm going to remove all my stabilizer because I like to do that. Now, I'm just going to use these little scissors because it's kind of a little design, and I'm just going to cut this right in half just so I can, you can save your vinyl or whatever you want to do if you want to cut like that so you have a bigger piece. 
Okay, now I'm just going to cut all the way around this. And um, everyone kind of knows how to cut. It kind of just takes time to not make it really choppy. I do long cuts and instead of little short ones. And then I also put the tip of my scissors right where I want it to stop so I don't cut the stitches right there, but I get it really close. And I really cut... Um, close as I can to the stitches without cutting them because it gives me a guide and it makes it look more clean in my opinion. If I'm further out I tend to not be consistent with the distance so it looks a little wonky. I'm just going to do that and I'll just show you the one. Okay, we are almost done cutting. Cutting, there's no like special way to do it. It's really just practice. The more you practice, the cleaner you can get it. Okay, so and if like I've used felt on the back, here's another little tip. If you can see it on the sides and the front, I can you can go back and cut kind of sideways just on the felt area and it will take off the little bit of fuzz right there that's showing from the front and then you won't see it because I kind of have some fuzz going on here and there. So if you just cut to the side it cuts some of that fuzz off on the back. And um, so here's what your back looks like, here's what your front looks like. Now um, we are going to go ahead and use the snaps and I want to show you that. I need to get one quick thing so I'll be right back. Okay guys, I am back and um, I just need to go get the awl right here. I went ahead and cut the other one as well. So they're both cut out and um, this is what allows you to put a hole into your vinyl. So what I usually do is I just take one of the snaps and I'll talk about those in a minute and I just kind of eyeball where I would want it from the top so I can kind of see where I'd poke my hole and then I just kind of look to the middle from left to right and then I just push it through. I kind of already have a hole here, but I will show you. And that makes your hole right there. And you do one on top, and then you want to do one on bottom, the exact same thing. You go far enough down that your cap won't go over this, your snap cap, and then you do it in the center and you make a hole. So you have that. Now I'm going to go show you how to do it um, two ways. I have the hand um, snap press and then I have also have um, the professional one right here and I'm going to show you the difference between the two. I'm sorry I'm going to move this around. Okay so first I'm going to talk about the snaps though. Earlier I was talking about these are size 20 caps. Sorry. Let me put that up a little bit. Sorry. Size 20 caps and that's what the standard is. Most people use the size 21. So there are different sizes, but I use size 20. So these are both size 20 caps. The difference in these is how long the prong is. Most people use these standard ones that are just short pronged cam snaps. Now if you're using thicker material, thicker vinyl, then you need to go ahead and get the long ones. I have both. Um, I tend to need these longer ones when I use canvas vinyl when I'm doing snap tabs and stuff um, or if these core keepers, if I use that marine vinyl versus the canvas vinyl, you kind of need the longer ones because the material is thicker. You can kind of see one has longer prong than the other. So if you're using that thicker material then you probably need these long ones. If you don't use the long ones, you will find that these are not long enough. Right here you can see the difference. I put this one through the hole. You can see how much goes up. You'll find that they're not long enough to securely um, keep these two together. So when you open and close it, they come apart. It just means that it wasn't long enough. So that's when you want to use these longer cam snaps. You can see the difference. There's a lot more coming out. So I'm going to go ahead and just use the long ones and um, I want to show you the difference. Now I'm going to do a hand press. When you do these you need two of the caps. They're called caps and then let me make sure I have the long one. These are both the long ones and then there's they call them a male and a female backing so there's these two pieces that you need one has an its outer 
you can see, and one is inset, and they clip together. That's what keeps the snap together, so you need these two pieces as well. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna do this top with the hand press, so I have the hole, I have my snap. I'm gonna go ahead and put it through like that, and then I'm gonna take one of them. It doesn't matter which one goes where. I'm gonna take this one, and I'm gonna place it on the back, so you have the cap on the front, on the back, I'm going to go ahead and put one of these. It doesn't matter which one. Now I'm going to take my hand press. There is um, an indention right here. That's where you want your cap to fit in. So I'm going to go ahead and put my cap there. Make sure it's in there nice. And then I'm, I have it pressed just so it's holding. And then you're going to take your hands and you are going to squeeze. And I squeeze pretty good so it can go ahead and squish. So you see it went ahead and now it is on here. So that's how you do that one. It's not hard, it's pretty easy. The thing that people um, dislike about these is you use your hand power and it ends up hurting your hands if you're doing a ton of things. Um, but it's pretty fast and easy and it's inexpensive. So if that's how you wanna do it, um, that's perfectly fine. That's how I started. Now the other one, we're gonna do the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the cap in. You still, this one actually goes opposite on these. You're gonna snap like this. They they fold over and snap like this. So you need this one the opposite direction. So I'm gonna put the cap on the bottom, the underneath, like that, versus how we did it on top. Make sure you do that. If they're both going the same direction, they won't snap the right way on these um, cord keepers. So put it like that. Now I have this other piece right here. Now if you are using, this is, I'll tell you a little bit about this hand press. Um, I bought this from I Like Big Buttons. And I went and looked it up. This is called the DK98. It's a professional cam snap press. It has, um, I'm gonna lift you up so you can kinda see. It just has um, a, an arm right here that you can press down with with um, the weight of your body so you're not using your hand muscles as much. That's the benefit of it. And the way, there's pluses and minuses to this. Um, the way you use this is um, you have these little attachments here and depending on which one you have attached will determine on which of these um, bottom pieces go in here. So I believe this is this one, I always forget, yeah. So the way you put this in, this, um, attachment goes to this um, piece. So I put it in this way, like this, and I just push up and it holds it right there. Now, um, if I wanted to do this other piece, it's a different attachment. So the pain in the butt about this is if you um, want to do one side and then the other side, you have to switch this attachment both for each one versus the hand press, you just put it in and you hand press it. So I'm um, really lazy, so I actually bought two. I have the pink one and I have the teal one, and this one does that back piece and this one does the other piece so I don't have to switch them. <laughs> so um, I'm a little bit lazy that way, sorry. So that's what I do. So anyways, we have the cap on this side. There's nothing on here. It's setting inside of here. So if you put your cap right here, then I'm going to stand up because it makes it easier if you're standing. Then you just hold it there, you press down, and I'm just pressing down on the lever right here. And I just press a few times. And then I lift, and you pull down, and now that one's set. Now a lot of people like this one better, the professional one, because it's um, a little more consistent. It pushes it in better, so it doesn't break as many times as the other one does. Um, the other time, like this hand one, you might not get enough strength. So like if you see this, I'm going to redo it on the other one just so I can get it in. If you see that, it didn't bend the plastic entirely all the way. It probably needs to push down a little more in there. And that's um, due to hand strength. So um, I'm going to go ahead and I'll put this on the pink one because this is the pink one. And I already have it clipped on, but if you push down like that, it still works. So it's just gonna secure it a little bit better. I don't know if you can see how clear that is, but it's, it's down more. So it's really a per personal preference. I just looked these up, they're on sale, but um, if you go to I Like Big Buttons, um, 
you buy the professional press is a price, but then there's pull downs. You actually need to buy the attachments. The press does not work if you don't buy the attachments. So you need to add that. And then you also, if you want to add the all right here, um, it ends up being like $80.95 for one of these. And then I bought a second one, but you have to buy the attachments again because you need the, oh, I think I did, yeah, because you need this other side twice. So it's about $80.95 for one of these, and this one's a lot cheaper. But just so you know, that's um, info, info for you. And I actually don't have any cords right here, but you wrap up cords, and then now that this is done, you go ahead and flip it, and it clips together, and it's super cute, and then your cords are all wrapped up in there. But that's how you make these cord keepers. I just wanted to go ahead and show you and um, let me know if you have any questions. And again, all um, links and everything, if you look under this video right now, you will see on YouTube it says show more or see more. If you click on that, it will have all the links to the design. It will have the links to just some starter cam snap sets. It has the link to where I buy vinyl. It has links to scissors. It has all sorts of links. It also has a link um, to Color Street. I'm a Color Street independent consultant. I do for nails. I started doing these videos because um, a lot of people were confused and um, I learn better by watching and uh, I know a lot of other people do too. So I just started doing all these videos um, just to help people and my manicure was horrible. It looked really bad. I started noticing it when I was doing the videos. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is horrible. So I started painting them, but then I came across Color Street and they're amazing. So if you want a free sample, go ahead and join my Facebook group and I will send you a free sample of them. You can try them for free. But um, otherwise, um, have a good day and I hope this tutorial helped you. And if you have any questions, please just leave me a note and I will try to answer it for you. But that is how you make the cord keepers. They are super fun, super quick, and I hope you enjoy. Thank you.